Hello, hello. Carly's vlogging today, and she inspired me, so I'm going to vlog too. We're at the storage unit um, getting our weekend sales shipped. A couple updates. For those of you guys that follow me on the community tab, I posted that I was doing wholesale boxes, but they sold out in like probably an hour and a half. So if you missed it, um, I put together some wholesale boxes because we're moving to a new apartment. Yay! And yay. And I didn't want to move all 1,000 pairs of shoes, so I got rid of 250 of them. So I'm pretty low on inventory and I have not really been listing that much. That's all I listed over the weekend. There's only like 25 pairs. Um, so we're going to get that shipped out. And uh, what else are we doing today? We're going thrifting. We're going thrifting and we have to go to our PO box to pick up uh, like returns and stuff. So I figured I'd vlog and take you guys with me. Show you a little behind the scenes action. What are you doing today? The same thing you're doing because you drive me around. <laughs> what is this? We have our trash we? is over there are shoes in there that's mainly you <laughs> okay you're right you're right um so yeah these uh, i just can't get over how empty my shelves are i'm kind of scared like my sales have been so slow because i haven't been listing and i don't have very many listings up <laughs> anyway i'll show you what's old all right so as i was putting those shoes up i pulled the shoes that i came across that i know sold so i'll go through those before i pull the rest of the sales one thing I will mention, though, is um, similar to how I said I wholesaled my shoes off, I wholesaled them off for $10 a pair, so when I'm getting offers in, I'm kind of keeping that in mind because I want to move as much inventory as possible before we move, so the move is as easy as possible, so a lot of these sales are pretty low. Um, that being said, I sold these just generic Nike golf shoes for $21 plus shipping. I think these were mine. I can't remember. I had a pair of in inventory that weren't mine and then a pair that I pulled out of my closet. Um, not sure, but 21 plus shipping. This was a good sale. These Echo Yucatan sandals sold for 59 on Poshmark. These are probably my favorite sale of the weekend. Uh, I sold these for $85 plus shipping. I got these at Plato's Closet for, I believe, $40. So almost a double up. These are Guardians of the Galaxy, Star War, Star Lord, um, Adidas Forum High Tops. These things are sick. Definitely my favorite. Sorry. What? Have you seen the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie yet? Don't give us spoilers if you have. Um, I sold these Merrells, I believe. These went for full price. I think these sold for $49 plus shipping on eBay. I sold these Doc Martens on Poshmark for uh, $119 plus shipping. I bought these for Miss Carly from um, Renzi on Whatnot, and they didn't fit her. So I think we paid $59 plus shipping on Whatnot, so I think with the shipping cost that was like – Seventy dollars, and then after the fees, I got back like ninety. So I want to say this is still a twenty dollar profit, even though they didn't fit Miss Carly. And one last pair, these I listed and sold in the same day. They were a men's size seven and a half, so I was happy they sold so fast. But these are some uh, Paul George two point fives. I got these in a wholesale box that I paid ten dollars a pair plus shipping for, so a little over ten in these, and these sold for forty plus shipping. I do have one sale that is not with me but i do want to mention it i'll pop the comp up on the screen i sold some 993s for 77 dollars. the reason they're not here is because they're part of a series that's coming up uh, i guess i'll give you guys a sneak peek because i just really need to edit the first episode and sell a few more pairs but i'm starting a sneaker collection again if you follow the community tab i asked you guys what you would put in your personal sneaker collection so if you didn't see that let me know in the comments what you would love to see in your personal sneaker collection or shoe collection whatever it is let me know down in the comments, but that's coming soon. Those shoes sold from that series inventory, um, but I still have a few more pairs to pull, so we'll get those pulled and I'll show you what's sold. All right, so the last of the cells I just finished pulling, uh, I got these Vans for, they sold for 23 on Poshmark. Got some NASA Ultra Boost, women's size five and a half, a little bit of wear on the bottom. These sold for $30 on Poshmark. Got another pair of Vans Old Schools. These sold for 25 these vans, these were pretty stained up. Ended up still selling those on eBay for $13, I believe. I sold these Keds for $25. These Adidas went for $28. Got these Under Armour Hover. Hover's a good good model to look out for. Anything, anything Under Armour Hover usually does pretty well. These went for $40 on eBay. These dance goes went for, I want to say 25 to 28, one of those two on eBay. Uh, these kids Tevas sold for 13. And then last but not least, these brand new Hey Dudes flip flops sold for 30 bucks. I did pay 15 for these, so not a huge profit on those, but they will ship first class, so it'll be cheap to ship. 
What you doing back there? Shifting my inventory. Shifting. After, so I had a 50% off sale in my Poshmark closet. Look how many, how much inventory I went through. Wow. Killing it. Another, I keep plugging the community tab. That's where I keep you guys updated on everything. Um, if you saw the uh, corny package picture that we posted, how's that been, like a week? I don't know, like a week, week, a little bit over a week ago, uh, me and Carly shipped out almost 100 packages. We were just short. We both were running very aggressive sales, again, to move as much inventory before we move. And she killed it. I killed it. We killed it. We killed it. So uh, that's that's another thing that another thing that adds to why our inventory is so low at the moment, which is a very very good thing. So now we got to get these boxed up and then off to the PO box, I believe. Ooh. I decided to take Carly's trash out. Your trash. <laughs> Your trash. <laughs> um, but everything's boxed up. Off to the posty post office. I'm what is this what is my, this? I'm stealing it from my inventory. It might fit me. I kind of want to try it on. All done here. Yeah. I need my bag. Chop, chop. I'm hurrying. Ah! All right, so this is all the returns we've had in the past month. They're not all returns. This is from a viewer, I think. It's addressed to me and Carly. Samantha. Samantha. Um, this one is some shoe cleaning products. It's actually Rejuvenator. A lot of you guys have heard of it. Um, I'm thinking about doing a short, uh, but I'll talk about that here in a minute. So I, in the past, like, what, month? Yeah. It's been, like, a month since we came here. I've had uh, one, two three, four, five returns. So I've sold probably like 350 items since then and only five got returned. So there's my there's my return rate. I offer free returns, no question asked, and it really doesn't happen that often. Oh wait, did I count that one? I don't think you did. So make it six. Carly's got some though. I got two. Carly's only got two. Two Poshmark actually. Yeah, so stop being afraid, turn the returns on. Except Poshmark was just cases open. <laughs> I do want to open this one. This is the first time I've ever had a package returned that was a eBay authentication. So I kind of want to see how they packaged it and if it still has the hang tag on it. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, look at that box. Right? These are <laughs> okay, so this is how eBay packages them? Whoa, they put them in dust bags. Dang. That's some. I got eBay branded dust bags. Dang. <laughs> okay. I mean, I had to get a return. So, clarify, this wasn't being returned because they weren't authentic. Yes, so these were authentic. The buyer just thought the shipping took too long, so they returned them. Uh, but there's some Jordan 312 Legacies. And they don't have the eBay hang tag on them anymore. But They had something. Yeah, this is... They normally have, like, a plastic piece that says eBay on it that has, like, a QR code. Um, still interesting that they gave me some free dust bags. Yeah. That's kind of cool. But... Yeah, still a return, so not that exciting. <laughs> we got a package at the mail place from Samantha. It says, are you making fun of me? No. It says to Dalton and Carly. You can do the honors. Okay. Don't show the label. All right. Shout out Samantha. This is probably like a return or something. Yeah. <laughs> but it says Dalton and Carly. Samantha's out here putting the priority box in the button. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. We're not the... We're not going to tell anyone. We're not the postal police. Oh, that says Carly. It does say Carly. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> Mine's, I got a little low. <laughs> I feel like this is stickers. <laughs> you guys know I love stickers. My address, this place's address is down in the description. Carly. Mine feels like books. I'm, I'm, Samantha. Oh, there are some stickers. Hi, Carly. I found these books and thought of you, so I wanted to send them along. I hope you don't already have them. I love your YouTube videos. Thanks for sharing all of your knowledge and being so nice and relatable. Have an amazing day, Samantha. Samantha! Samantha, you're the best. Um, it looks like her store, shop, business is Next Round. I'm assuming that's what? Next Round Clothing Next Round Co. Clothing. These are really cool oh. colors and stickers. She also wrote me on the back of this, I just noticed. Hi Dalton, hope you're having a great day and selling lots of shoes. I just wanted to share a couple of my new stickers with you. Thanks for doing YouTube lives and making videos. I've learned so much from you. Keep up the great work. Samantha, next round. Oh. Thank you so much, Samantha. These are Goosebumps books. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, they're like, you definitely don't have Oh my gosh, I definitely don't have either of these Goosebumps books. I am so excited. Samantha, this one is terrifying. You just literally, oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this thing. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I definitely would have remembered if I had this one. I don't have these yet. Thank you. Um, oh my gosh. This was such a fun surprise. This really was. We weren't expecting this. 
I didn't know that we had a package from one of you guys in the mail when we came to pick up today. Um, I know you guys are gonna ask, the company we use for our uh, return address is physicaladdress.com. It's just like a, it's a physical address instead of a PO box. So you can get anything shipped to it um, for a little monthly cost. Yeah. Should I open up that rejuvenator box? Yeah. That would be fun. Long story short, you guys know that I've been making like uh, shoe cleaner reviews in the form of YouTube shorts and on TikTok and Instagram. Rejuvenator, I think their name was on here. Yeah, there you go. Rejuvenator is one of the most popular shoe cleaning brands. I haven't reviewed them yet because Frank, Am I making noise? You're making so much I'm noise. sorry, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> uh, cause, cause their kit is honestly really expensive. I have some of their products, but I wanted to get their new products because it's been like two years since I ordered their, their kit. Um, and I wanted to do that for the video. And I learned they have an affiliate program. They're not paying me to make the video, but I figured if I'm gonna make a video about it, I might as well sign up for the affiliate thing. And after I signed up, they reached out and was just like, hey, we're just gonna send you a box. So the box came in, um, expect, well, oh, there's a little, is that a ladybug? Bye, Wait, ladybug. ladybugs are good luck. Um, <laughs> all right, so the box came in today. Again, I'm gonna make a short video about this. And I think I'm gonna make a long form video comparing these and this and the other shoe cleaners that I've gotten. But a lot of you guys already know what Rejuvenator is. So since I signed up for the affiliate program, if you already use them or if you wanna try them out, I did get a coupon code for you. I think it's 15% off. It's just dealing with Dalton. Or if you click the link in the description. Um, again, it's not sponsored. They just, you know, I might as well try to get a little bit of commission if I'm gonna talk about their products. Um, first thing in the box is a bunch of paper. Got the thing of cleaning solution got the laundry pods they do they do a laundry system where they tell you to put this stuff through the washing machine and they have these like tide pod kind of things uh which is kind of cool this looks like the drying this is new this is something that i'm excited to get it's like a drying rack for your brushes um so your brush dries properly and the soap and scum doesn't get stuck in the brush um so this is really cool i'm happy to get this because i didn't already have this product a cleaning mat yeah, just like a microfiber cloth to clean on top of. Um, they sent 12 sneaker wipes, uh, just like, yeah, they're kind of like baby wipes. They're just like little packs of like moistened cloths to like touch up your shoes, like keep this in your backpack or something. Um, and then a big box that says the signature shoe cleaning kit. Okay, looks like another cleaning mat, some more cleaning solution. All three of their brushes, they have three different uh, bristled brushes. They got a soft, a medium, and a stiff. The stiff's more for like the bottom of the shoes and then like depending on the material. They've got these crappy shoe trees. Well, let's just be honest, uh, they could do better. Those are from dealingwithdalton.com. No, but these I will say are better for their laundry. Like I said, to run them through the washing machines, these are like more low profile and won't bang up your washing machine. So these will, like if you're gonna run shoes through the washing machine, you probably don't wanna put my shoe trees in them. Um, and then lastly, a laundry bag to put the shoes in before you run them through the washing machine so they don't like uh, get the material messed up and then a little pouch on the side for that little laundry pod. Uh, hopefully I can cut this video down a little bit because I didn't mean to do a seven minute ad for a shoe later. Yeah. All right, now I think we're going to Goodwill. So what you've been waiting for. A Goodwill boutique. Goodwill boutique, let's do it. All right, we just pulled up to the uh, Goodwill boutique. We never come here, it's really expensive. Everybody inside just watching us both film. <laughs> I feel like $30 for these Ariat boots. It's honestly a pretty good deal. Probably gonna grab these. That's some brand new Reeboks here. They're also 30. These are churches, also 30. I'm gonna have to double check on these, but I think that's a good price. New with tag Align. I think this is an Allegria brand. Um, probably gonna pass for 20, but not bad. These kids' Jordans are only eight bucks. Uh, they're kind of in rough condition, so I think I'm gonna pass on them. I mean, they have the yellowed midsoles and the uppers aren't in amazing condition, and it's not like a rare colorway or anything. So even for eight, I'm gonna leave those behind. I was surprised that these Uggs were only $20. Gonna have to do a search some comps on those. I just went through this entire cart. They happened to roll out while I was uh, searching through the shoes, and I did find a couple nice pairs of shoes. The first are these Gucci loafers. They're only $40. I'm about 95% certain that these are real. So $40, great price for some horse bit Gucci loafers. And then I found these Echo Golf shoes. They have the BOA lacing system. So for $25, that's a steal. All right, so the only pairs I ended up picking up were the Ariat boots. I saw one comp for these over 100. So that was a good, I've spent 95 on everything. So realistically, those will pay for everything. And then, 
I do believe that these Gucci's were real for $40, so good timing. Did you see these restock shoes while we were in there? No, I didn't. Yeah, pull these off the restock cart. And same with these uh, Echo golf shoes. The BOA lacing system usually adds a little bit of value to this stuff. Um, so for $25, I feel like I can sell those for like 60 plus shipping. Uh, so those are good pickups. The Church's shoes, the Suede's don't do very well. And I can't remember what else I'll put back, but I'll do a voiceover or something. Carly wants to go across the street to Avalon Exchange. So it's kind of like a Plato's Closet, right? I don't know. I've never been. I think so. All right. So we're going to go check that out. Expensive. Yeah, it's, it's getting expensive. They got some nice shoes, though. That's $30.50. Not bad price. $36.50. $36.50. Alrighty, Avalon Exchange was, it wasn't bad. I mean, she says the clothing Zero sucked. Out of 10. They had some pretty cool shoes, but they did not have a very big selection and all of it was, you know, I, I wouldn't say it was expensive, but it was priced how I would price it if I had a brick and mortar store. So not resellable. Um, that being said, I think we're gonna go to another Goodwill, maybe. I don't know which one. I forgot to look at the home stuff in the boutique. There were I, so many people in there, I couldn't do it. The boutique? experience is subpar it's a tiny store someone mentioned it was senior discount day so that's probably why it was so crowded <laughs> that makes sense <laughs> there were a lot of elderly <laughs> um because there's like the i hate okay my biggest gripe with goodwill and thrift stores in general is when they put the shoes above the clothes so the people that are going through the clothes are in your way when you want to just look at shoes and for me i'm in the way yeah she was in the way every single there's only four aisles in this whole store and every single one of them had 12 people in it so not a win. Um, I was also recording for eight minutes with my phone in my pocket, so I'm thinking about leaving that in. We've reached boomer level. We've, we've reached boomer. We reached boomer level. All right. Is it this car park next? I think this car is watching me vlog, and they forgot that the <laughs> light turned <laughs> green. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's let's find another Goodwill and get with it. All right, we decided to pop into a uh, a Plato's closet. Um, I think I was here recently, so I'm not expecting too much. But Carly hasn't been here. I haven't while, been here in a while. So uh, never know. So I've actually sold this model of Converse before for over a hundred dollars. It's been a while and there's not much on the market, but I think $35 is a safe gamble. These Air Force Ones I thought was a really good price at $25, but unfortunately this model only sells for like $50. So I left those behind and you guys know I'm a sucker for Disney Vans collab. So I had to pick up these 101 Dalmatians for $25 dollars and then i found three pairs of chacos at the store one pair was eight and the other two was 12. chacos are a great brand that i do well with at plato's closet because they're always underpriced i got another vans disney collab can you pick these shoes up i'm out of hands you give me a nice model let me see the bottom eight dollars little heel drag carly says that she can't pull them off i'm kind of upset and they're not my they're not my colors no. or my style Boo. kind of popped off there we both had 20% off today. We both had 20% off our purchases. Um, I'll go over everything because my hands got full and I didn't quite uh, record everything. Everything's Abercrombie. Every single pair right here is Abercrombie. Do you want me to keep that out of the video so people don't know? Um, no, I'm not telling the specific styles. Yeah, okay. Check out my channel actually for that information. Go sub, styled by Carly. Um, I, I took a gamble on these. I think they're real. The leather is really high quality, but I recently picked up Remember? some. <laughs> I picked up some fake dunks last time I was at Plato's. Um, but these are potentially, they got some wear on them. So I think that that's why they're priced at $80. He saw the person using the check check app. Though. Yeah, the lady, behind the, the lady behind the counter back there, um, she had another pair of Jordans that just got in and she was check checking them. So I'm assuming she did the same with these and they're priced lower just because of the, uh, the heel drag. But the dark mocha is like the most popular colorway of Jordan ones right now. So I don't think I have a problem selling those. And everything was 172 after the discount. I can't pass on uh, Disney collab vans got the 101 Dalmatians and the Buzz Lightyear the Andy on bottom um, tons of Chacos for eight to twelve dollars and then I've actually sold this model of Converse before for I want to say it was 120 when I sold it but it's been a while so I think the market kind of went down I should get like 80 bucks for that so honestly pretty, pretty good stuff pretty good hey that's pretty, pretty good, good. <laughs> well, we've arrived to the last store of the day Goodwill. Are you yelling at me? Yeah. All right. Well, this is the expensive one, as you guys know. Well, not as not quite as expensive as the boutique, but they're all expensive at this point. So, 
Here's some Dansko XP 2.0s. The XP 2.0 model of Dansko is usually a great model, but not for $40. Had to leave those behind. But down here on the bottom, there's some React Element 55s for only $15. Don't really understand the disparity in pricing, but it is what it is. Uh, these Kurus, I unfortunately had to leave behind just because of wear and how dirty the mesh was. They were half off. Orange is the color of the day. Uh, I was hoping these Sorel boots were half off. They've been here for a while. $30. This is the Joan of Arctic, the good model to keep an eye out for, but I just, at, in the middle of summer, $30 is too much, so hoping to get those at half off. I did want to show these because these were these are Dunks, a weird model of Dunks I've never seen before. They were half off, but I decided to leave them behind just because of how like dingy and beat up they were and kind of falling apart. All right, so all I found were these React Element uh, 55s. They were 15 bucks in excellent condition. And then these Play sneakers, uh, this is a really good kids brand to keep an eye out for. They were $10, uh, should sell for like 30 plus shipping, so not bad. But I did kind of find a lot that was half off. So orange is color today, today is uh, Monday. So still a lot on the shelves. Uh, most of this was like 750 up to, some of this is like 16.99 half off, so 850s. So most of these are 750 to 850. Um, these Nike Shield, I think Agility Shield, uh, something like that. Uh, these Pharrell Tennis Hues, again, in excellent condition. These Rothy Clio Bewitch Flats. I, I've sold this model plenty of times before, um, so $750 is a good price for those. I got these Nike Joyrides. These were $750. Um, I think these were a little bit more expensive. These were $1250. They are Saucony Echelon 8s, good condition. And then these Asics, Men's Asics. I see a little stain on there, so I might end up putting these back, but these are one of the $850 ones. And then I found these Keen Boots. These ones were $8.50 in decent condition. So that's all I found today, or at this store. Let's go find Carly. They got a lot in the glass case back here. Um, some Baker Max down there, a couple pairs of Jordans. Those ones up there, I checked them out last time I was here. I believe they're fake. Those Yeezys are clearly fake. I bet these are real, but they have way too high prices on them. And then tons of stuff back there. What's going on? Um, zero things. Zero things, huh? Zero things. Womp, womp, womp. Yeah, let's do that. Pretty sure this is just a stick. Great it's thoughts. decoration. Stop defending them. <laughs> so many. She just found so many candlestick holders. Are they all four or five dollars? Yeah. Six dollars? She found one on a couple aisles over that she, I couldn't even talk her into buying because she has too much stuff in her booth right now. But you don't see this many every day. Yeah, you should uh, take advantage. Those are the ones? These are the ones. These ones are so heavy. Yeah. Let me see. These ones are like amazing. This one definitely... Oh my goodness. This is so heavy. Just break half of it off. <laughs> okay, put these ones in the garden. These really are really heavy though, all jokes aside. No, Alrighty! Uh, you guys saw everything I picked up. I also got a board game, um, Your Worst Nightmare. I'll take a video and show you right now. It looks a lot, it looks fun. So me and Carly are probably gonna play that, not tonight. We uh, we gotta go okay. home, it's getting late. It's already 6.30 and we still gotta go to the gym and eat dinner and stuff. So we're gonna- I'm getting hangry. <laughs> yep, she's angry. We're going to wrap it up right here. So if uh, you want to see some more videos like this one, sourcing and all that fun stuff, hit that thumbnail over on the other side of Carly. Tap it right now. Just touch it and you'll go watch it. It's going to be a good one, I promise. So uh, click that and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!